Amina. But now I want to talk about an important subject. Now I'm going to talk about forgiveness, which has the power to change a person's life. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you don't forgive, you can also lose the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And without the grace, there is no way you can make it. Without the grace, without the grace, without the grace, there is no way you can make it. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 and 15. Hebrews 12 uh, Pursue peace with all people and holiness Without it, no one will see the Lord Pursue peace With all people And holiness Without which none will see the Lord. Verse 15. Looking careful, lest everyone fall short of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Lest any root of bitterness spring up, spring up, cause trouble. And by this, many have become defiled. Praise the Lord. Amina. He said you can become a sort of grace. If you have the root of bitterness. And the root of bitterness is caused by any forgiveness. Praise the Lord. This is all the root of bitterness he's talking about. It caused it is caused by unforgiveness. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that if there is any root and sickle you're not a sort cow. of grace. In other words, this root of bitterness brings unforgiveness. Forgiveness brings you losing the grace. And if you don't have this grace, ladies and gentlemen, there is no way you are going to make it. Amen. Bitterness. It is the cause of unforgiveness and bitterness. It brings people to run short of the grace of God. Amen. You, you see, but locally, there are so small things that be. But they lead us miss the blessings of God. They lead us not living good life in this life. They lead us to fall short of the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Because anyone with bitterness in your heart, it is that you put people so much on your heart without forgiving them. Every time you forgive somebody in your life, you feel relieved. Amen. There's so many things you carry on if you don't forgive. There are even some people who don't who are not aware that they offended you. But for you, you are still heavy because of whatever you feel that they offended you. With. And, and such people who are the grudges, people who don't forgive, who have hold the heaviness in their heart. They are so Bible wicked. The Bible says that if you carry that bitterness, the grace of God will disappear completely. You might find yourself ending up in hell. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible, the Bible 
Verse 14 it says By shooting with all people And holiness Therefore having peace with all people You must be a forgiving person But you don't forgive at all You have a grudge upon everybody You are carrying everybody you even in your heart you are full of bitterness because you don't want to forgive and remember Jesus forgave you and he's still forgiving you but you are carrying them how, who, how many of them have ever seen such people they have the root of bakau they are bitter because there is no way he can forgive ladies and gentlemen if you don't forgive you won't be forgiven That's too what the Bible says. Bible even in the prayer our Lord's prayer forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us so you are being forgiven depends on your forgiving Amen. If you don't forgive, maybe you're still holding your sins. Yes, you're still holding them on yourself. Because you have not forgiven someone who offended you. Even God cannot hear your prayers. That's what the Bible says. Bible that when you go to pray, to forgive. Yeah, I have the scripture here. <coughs> When you go to pray first, forgive. Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, forgive us our sins and forgive others. So when you don't forgive, you are not forgiven. As, as I always tell you, the Bible returns to forgiving and sowing and reaping. Therefore, forgive in the life of a believer, it is very important. You find in the service, they don't grow physically, spiritually. If you are not forgiven, God cannot listen to your prayers. However much you pray, be dead or night. However much you fast. The Bible says God does not hear sinners. Praise the Lord. God does not hear sinners. He doesn't listen to them. And let me tell you, you cannot live a hundred percent a pure life. But you can live a hundred percent a forgiven life. You cannot live a pure life. You cannot live a pure life. A hundred percent. But you can live a forgiven life a hundred percent. But the only way you can live a forgiven life is by forgiving. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you stand to pray, the Bible says in Mark 11, verse 25 to 26, let us read. And when you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. That your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. Ochirabecho. <laughs> You see it? What do you think is holding your prayers? Because you haven't forgiven so and so. That man is really mistreated me. She cheated me. She insulted me. She beat me. She did this. That man, let him die. Praise the Lord. You still holding that person in your heart, a grudge upon you. But listen to what he has said. Do not forgive. Neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. But some of you, ladies and gentlemen, there is no way you can live a righteous life without forgiving God forgiving you. 
Praise the Lord. This is very, very important. In believers, it is very important. The things I'm talking about they are the ones to determine your life, to change your life. They look small. You walk in a right yes, life, you don't steal, you don't fornicate, you don't insult, but you don't forgive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. They are simple things. But they might hinder you from entering heaven. Because the Bible has told us so. That by should be with all people. And the holiness. Without it, you will not see God. So if you don't have don't peace show with people, you don't forgive them. How, how, you, how is your life? You don't forgive. And he has said it is If it stays in your life, sort of grace. So if it disappears, grace disappears. I got saved in church of Uganda. I was among the bazookas. But they used to tell us that if you meet somebody with, after taking long time without seeing, we never asked that are you still born again. We could ask, are you still standing in the grace? Brother, are you still in the grace? Because it is because of the grace that we are moving. Because of the grace you shall make it. That grace of our Lord Jesus. But when he takes it away. For sure you cannot move on even a single day. And there is also another one way. Praise the Lord. Forgiveness is not debatable. You have no option. You have to forgive. If you have to go to heaven, you have to forgive. So no option in that one. You either forgive or go to hell. <laughs> No, according to these scriptures. Because if you are not forgiven, there is no way you can go to heaven. All salvation. It is based on one thing, forgiving. That's why the difference between us and them are not again. Yes, we accepted that we are sinners. After accepting that we are sinners, we went to Jesus. We told him, yes, we have sinned, but we are asking for to be forgiven. That's why in our Lord is prayer he gave us. He said, the things we have to pray daily. Because when you look at it, our Father, in a heaven, your kingdom comes. There we are worshipping. Your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. There you are starting prayer. Give us this day because that is important and forgive us our sins. That's what we ask in this world as ours. Don't take us to the temptation, but save us from those are the only things about four. Give us today's bread, forgive us our sins as we do what. Amen. Forgive us our sins as we forgive. Oh, to sony you again and after to sony you are. To sin again and stars. There you start asking, praying for other things. That's how he taught us how to pray. Forgive us our sins every day. As we forgive them on a daily basis. The men went to Jesus. And they are asking, How many times should I forgive my brother? Jesus told them 409 times. And that is a single day. Yes, he told them 70 times 7. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that is one day. 
They give us that scripture. Seven. Seven. I'm 70. <laughs> and Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Ah, Peter on a jerim come off and I'm gamba. Peter on a jerim come off and I'm got him come away. Amy Rudy and Mekamuganda wanga Jana, you know, Nanga, name Musonywa, Namogamba, who took a mirundi musamvu. Oh, ah, Namuza, a mirundi musamvu. Aha. Aha, Jesus said to him, Yes, Namogamba said to you up to seven times. Sivagaman took a mirundi musamvu. Seventy times. Up to seventy times seven. Na yoku tuka emirundi musamvu. Wakuba kanya zama emirundi musamvu. Emirundi bina mucheenda. Four hundred and ninety. Atolo na kuromo. And that is one day. Mosoni wa muga. Na kuvoli. He slaps you. Mosoni wa. 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 Mosoni you see how hard the Bible is? And you think how many times does God forgive you? He saw that when you exceed 490, no one can hurt you in a single day 490 times. Even if it is a lifetime, one person hurting you 490. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why forgiving is so vital in people's lives, especially in believers' lives. Praise the Lord. We must decide to forgive. If at all we are to be forgiven, and if we are going to be also to get uh, for, to set to get set free from the root of bitterness, you must forgive. People who don't forgive, they are bitter. They are bitter. You can read it from his face. He doesn't want to know. Amen. But the Bible has told us because we have to forgive. Amen. 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 And he says, Muzaburi chikume kume na muenda. Lunyiri wa chikume inkaga mutan. That nothing will offend you. Te wali na chimu chiri kukosa. Agama Matthew chapter five verse nine. He says in Matayo tano muenda. That blessed are the peacemakers. Nti ba ba mukisa abalete mirembe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers. Ba mukisa abo abalete mirembe. Ebe baso njua abo. And they are the ones who forgive. Amen. Mulokole who is here today. I prayed for you so that you forgive each and every. Even the neighbors got switch eight. Yo 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 lead. Yo yo yo. If you start forgiving in your life, so that you don't hold that grudge. Some of the people you have failed to forgive, they are not even aware. So you who has not forgiven her or him is still carrying on. You are just wasting your time. Like someone who gets annoyed in darkness. In darkness, nobody will, nobody will notice that you have put on a gloomy face. Like the tear gas vehicle. Nobody will notice that you are annoyed. <laughs> It's like just a wastage of time. Like someone who shows a blind person your nakedness, he will never see that. Whatever how much you do it, he will not notice that you are naked. So it is the same way. You person who has refused to forgive. The other person you think who is the offender does not know that he is offended. And that's why the Bible says it is you who is offended to go to the offender so that he may know Notice and know. But, hey, for sure he hurt you. For you are there and know it. I will not, not forgive you. Yeah, if he wants, he can come to me first. You think who cares? 
You was not forgiven. And, and me who offended uh, you. Who is more in pain? He is eating whatever he wants to eat. The imputa, fry, the boys. That, 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 that man. That woman. Look at her. God forgive that woman. Ten years. You are carrying unforgiveness on your head. But every day you come here. I, I ask you forgive me because I insulted her. Jesus writes down, no, I haven't forgiven you. Praise you them. see them as jokes but they are very vital in the yeah, kingdom of God they are the ones to take you to heaven because nobody with sins will enter yeah, heaven make peace with every, every person that's why they tell you eh, mire, we are not giving you to see the Lord I make peace is my forgiveness praise the Lord Jacob forgave his brethren he forgave his brothers they sold him as a, a Jacob or Joseph? No, Joseph. Joseph. Yes. They sold him as a slave. After selling Joseph as a slave, they found him in Egypt. Amen. But anyway, he forgave them. He forgave his brothers. Those people who are to kill him and and ended up selling him. that person you have refused to, 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 to forgive, what did he do to you? What is that big thing he did to you? For this one, they won him and bind him and threw him in a pit, wanting to kill him. Another option to give him as a slave. It was another one afterwards. For you, have you ever reached that extent? If you have him, somebody sells you as a slave. But imagine if Jacob forgive. Can't you forgive? Yes. Jesus, chapter 23, Luke, verse 34. He said the elderly men who are above 18 years of age, mature, he said, forgive them because they don't know what they were doing. These mature men, you maybe they did know that if you nail somebody on a cross, he will die. Praise the Lord. This man who killed Jesus, that's why you might find them in heaven. Because they were forgiven by Jesus. Is you is still counting them as wickedness, as sinners? Every time he was Jesus' is movie, he said, I hate those men. I don't know what this is really killed them. But Jesus forgave them a long time ago. It is the same, you have to forgive them. Amen. Amen. You forgive people who have killed you. Someone, someone to tries to kill you by strangling you, but some, <laughs> somehow people save you when you have started even bringing up phone and you say forgive them. You must have God in you. Praise the Lord. But all of us believers, we must forgive. You don't have any alternative. That's why things are not moving your way. Because you don't have the grace. The grace of God is not with you. God's favor is not with you. Things are not moving well. I want you to try forgiving people. Even those who hurt you. 
And when you forgive, you forget. That's when, what it says. The Bible says, when I remember our God forgives, you forget. No in fact, for him he blots them away. And he presses the delete button. You start a chapter, a new chapter. But he does it this way you have forgiven. That's the way you he forgives. Forg that's the way he forgives. He remembers your sins no more. Do you know how he forgives? The Bible says as far as east is from the west. I don't know how he forgives. I don't know how he forgives. You cannot put one leg in the east, another one in the west. It is really very far east from west. But that's how he has put our sins. And he will remember them no more. The Bible says, The blood of Jesus washes our sins away. In other words, when we confess, and the blood cleans us, it is like jig of rich. That spot will never come back again. That you cannot put it back. You get where there is a spot. And put it there in a bleaching agent. Or area that powder is soaked. And it squeeze after putting it in water you call back that spot if you can put it back where it was in the water in the water you put that it comes back that's what the Bible says when you confess our sins to him he just cleans us with his blood he cleans it he cleans for you thoroughly where there was that it is no more but for you you go okay I forgive but forgetting <laughs> I can't forget that one you have never forgiven it's still holding with still there on your heart if you decide to forgive forgive so that you forget praise the Lord Praise the Lord. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. And be kind to one another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God in Christ forgave you. So how do we have to forgive us? God forgave us. He remembers our sins no more. Amina. Why are you not You in salvation, you have sinned. But you are seated here, we are right here. Because he cleans Kwaji. our sins. He forgives and cleans our sins. And he removes all our unrighteousness. And then we come out as When we ask how many righteous people do we have, everybody will live down. But that we have being a righteous person. It's because of being forgiven. Amen. Amen. What makes you a righteous person is to forgive somebody. Here he told us that if you don't forgive Mark let's read it once again. And whenever you stand praying, today we have a prayer day with the prayer journals. The journals, we are going to have a prayer night. Praise the Lord. But as the generals are standing out to pray, generals, please take attention. If you have anything against anyone, anyone, anything, 
Even when you are bringing in your offering without forgiving, the Bible tells you leave the offering they are going to forgive because you are not going to profit any blessing out of it. So that you go and sort out things. forgiven you. Then you come back and you throw your 1,000 in the basket. And then God will, ma will multiply that 1,000, maybe 2,000 or 5. Or oh, 10,000. But when you give, you offer without forgiving. If you still have anything against anyone, forgive Anything. Anything. That your father in heaven may also forgive you. That's why when we are teaching prayer, we tell you first to repent. God doesn't listen to sinners. And after repenting, God will forgive you. I repeat it. If you are starting to pray, remember all those you have not yet forgiven. And then first ask and then ask for forgiveness. Salvation is not that simple. It's not easy at all. It is not that simple. Salvation is not that simple. And it is so simple. It's a small thing. That's salvation. Nothing big. It's not a big deal. Nothing big in salvation. When you forgive, the grace of God is upon you. He can help you not to be led into temptation. Even those which will come, you just bypass them. There is no way aware. There is no thing. Who gives you the grace to skip them? It is God. But when He takes away His grace, any demon and temptation can take you. Now, if you don't forgive, there is no way you will hold that grace upon you. Amen. I praise Colossians the Lord. chapter 3, verse 13. How should we forgive? Bearing with one another. Forgiving one another. Even when one has a complaint against another. Even when Christ forgave you. So you also. So you also. You also forgive. So 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 you you also forgive. So you also forgive. So you also forgive. So you also must praise the Lord forgiving it is vital in the life of a believer it is very important it can if you don't have it you can lead to hell according to the other scripture read in Hebrews 12 it can take you to hell because forgiveness is what brings the root of bitterness and bitterness you lose the grace of God praise the Lord Amen. so you forgive as God forgave. Don't remember anymore. You forgive for hundred and ninety times. Four hundred and ninety times. That's one day forgiving and forgiving. And forgiving, and forgiving. How many of you pray for forgiveness every day? Come <laughs> to I want a wedding. I want a money to marry me. Reaching there, there is nothing. Checking. 
Whether there is any unforgiving element in your life Then you will have to forgive all those people In about five minutes we are going to pray and ask God to remind us anywhere we are not feeling. You are going to leave this place when you are you have lost all the weight of the all the weight you had. Like the Bible says in Hebrews that throw down, lay down. Amen. Yes, let us lay aside every weight. Let Every weight. The weight they are talking about is the unforgiveness. They bring you to worry. They bring bitterness. You become restless. When you become restless, you yourself. And the bad thing, unforgiveness, lies on the heart. It is on the heart direct. That's where the unforgiveness is. And that's where the weight lies. Therefore, you also, since you are surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Agati no wechi okuvale tulinga tuetolo dolu furumeru wabajulirwa. Aba tuetolo dedeka tuteke wansi. Buli echizito wachona. What brings that heaviness is an, uh, unforgiveness, unforgiving. Yes. Lack of forgiveness, forgiving brings many, many things. To some, let's read the Matthew Sura Kumina Munana, verse 21. Twenty-two. And Jesus said to him, yes, I don't tell you seven times, but up to seven times. Seven seven times. Times. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us go on. Therefore, in the kingdom of heaven, like a certain king, no one to settle his accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But he was not able to pay. His master commanded that it he be sold Mukama. with his wife, children, and all that he had. That payment be made. Mukama we na la gira tundi we ne mukazi we na ba na be na biyon na be yari na e banja di sovolo kubonjorwa. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, "Master, have patience with me." I will pay you all. Yet he was not able Then the master of that servant was moved with the compassion. And released him. Namuta. And forgave him that debt. Namusonywane banja. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred dinari. Therefore he said and laid hands on him. Took him by the throat. This man was a tough man. <laughs> He started struggling him. He tore, he tore, he got his shot. Baby, <laughs> what do you owe? So his servant fell down on his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me. I will pay you all. But he went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. Uh -huh. So when his fellow servants saw what had been done, they were very grieved. And came and told their master, Oh, what, 
what that had been done. Mm. Then the master after I had called him he said to him you wicked servant I forgave you all your sins because you begged me should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant just as I had Peter on you and his master was angry and delivered him to the tormentors to torture us and he should obey all what was due to him so my heavenly father will also do to you so my heavenly father will also do to you if each of you from his heart will do his heart not his mouth okay forgive you so that you may not be tempted to do the same okay forgive you so that you may not be tempted to do the same okay forgive you so that you may not be tempted to Mark that word heart. That's where heaviness comes. And that's where the root of bitterness comes. On your heart. Now we have a kumutima. That you take no him out of your heart. You release him. Kumutima na wako. So that is no more at your heart. Dana. I have forgiven you and forgiven you forever. And the one you are going to forgive today. I want you to send that person an airtime. And so that you show. Even if it is 1,000 again, Rebecca, I will show you. Praise the Lord. So my heavenly father Here he is referring to God himself Our father Also will do to you If each of you From his heart His brother is trespassing Listen to this Listen to this all what you have ever done you have to pay for them if at all you don't forgive your brother all you count what you have done from the 60s let me count myself all they bring them back and pour them in for you he had forgiven all your debts he had forgiven him all what he had done but now he comes back and says no now pay who can pay for your sins can you praise the Lord can you all Jesus' gospel relied on one, two things. Repenting and forgiveness. Repenting. Repenting and forgiveness of sins. And that's what he told you. It shall be preached. Now you, you, who has refused to forgive, that you can live from here and go there. You say like me. Why did you come late? I say, you see, I came, I found jam. So late. She left late. And there you happen to lie. That all liars. that the liars the, the, com revelation. the cowards what does it say mukubikurirwa eh yeah. kakati kakati gwe kakati kakati gwe kujali yesu abata kusonyiye if jesus has not forgiven no, you kusimu. on the phone nguli dengo ogamba i had you saying I'm in Nakawa. You are here in Chitintale. Nakawa here. Me here in Chitintale. Nakawa. 
Kati tolina option hiyo na. You don't have any option. Apart from giving your brother so that you may also be forgiven. Because the Bible says we sin all day long. And our sin is not only in actions. I told you it's not only in actions. It is in thoughts. When you wish somebody to die, you have already killed that person. When you, you fornicate in their thoughts, you are fornicated. When you are demired, okay. Oh. And you think those who fornicate or commit adultery are the ones who go to the lodge or in the bush? No, even you. So you need to repent. And repent and to be forgiven. You need to first forgive. Now you see that you don't have any way out. Ladies and gentlemen, forgiving is very important in the life of a believer. Unforgiveness being, it can take you to hell. It takes away the grace. It, can, it brings weight. You are there, you stay there. You, 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 if we are full of resentment, people who are full of bitterness, they are also full of resentment. Some even end up being lunatics. But it came as a, a doing what? Unforgiveness. You start looking at everybody you look at. It's as if he's going to offend you, he's going to hurt you. Me, I gave up with the people. Praise the Lord. He, that one who offended you, had to forgive you. So that you go on with the others. Amen. Amen. That one who offended you, forgive him. Amen. But even you, but even if you forgive him, maybe he came and borrowed your money and failed to pay back. Say, as for that one, I forgive you that money. But when he comes back and says, more money, say, no, I don't have a money. So, so that you, you help him. <laughs> Amen. If he has asked for 10,000, at least give him 2,000. This one I've just given you, I've not lent you. I have, but brother, sister, I will not give you. Sometimes I tell them I have, but I'm not going to give you. You speak the truth after all, it's not going to cut off your head. <laughs> yes, I have, but I'm not going to give you. And don't remind <laughs> him. Yes, do you know why I have refused to give you? Because the last time you cheated me, you, know, you never brought back my money. That's why this time around I said I won't. Don't go there. Say, brother, for today this is what I have for you. Go in peace. God bless you. Don't go in history. They don't I can't forget that. It means you never pulled it out of your heart. <laughs> Me to lend you my money. You have forgotten the 10,000 I lent you. You kept looking for change. I gave you my 10 You disappeared. Now, if it, that is the case, let me give you 2,000. You forgive and forget. You forgive and forget. There you start fresh friendship. Now at this time we are working in It doesn't mean that if you forgive, you you stop being careful to that person. Uh -uh. Mm. Yes, you have to be careful so that he doesn't hurt you again and even you to bring him to him problems. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up on our feet. We have to forgive. Praise the Lord. We have to do what? We must do what? Now I want you to take two minutes. And remember all those people you have not yet forgiven. The things I've been talking to you these days. And the ones I will teach in the next maybe two weeks. If you put into action all these, I hope your life will change. 
Amen. I think your life is going to change. I hope your ministry is going to change. I hope your wallet is going to change. I hope some things, some things to change. They are going to change in Jesus' name. The things which have been holding us are so small. We are so right here. But things which are holding us, they are so small. And they are the ones we are going to tackle with. And you see how things are going to move with. And you see how accounts will have money. You say, God, I've given you But these small, small things have failed. But God is going to give you the grace. Because forgiving is such has power to change your entire life. It has power. It has power to change your life. Now I want you to bow down your head and talk to God. Tell him God that some people who are to me, but up to today they have been still in my heart. But today, I release them and I forgive them. And those I can afford to call, some may be their dead, but please take them away from your heart. And forgive, confess their names and say, and so and so. I had not yet forgiven you, but now, see, even though you are dead, I forgive you. And remember those you can remember. And tell him, God, to remind you. And all those you can't remember. Tell him. God even those I can't remember but when you are walking moving and he reminds you forgive that person immediately and if you give him a call do you know what I forgive you because God told me to forgive you but if he understands that or gets notes that he has and okay when he has understood that I forgive him Father in Jesus name we thank you because forgiving it is accountable and it is a must that we have to do it. Some people are unforgivable. We have held them on our hearts for so long. But Father, ask for the grace to forgive so that it falls upon every woman and man here, every boy and girl, the grace to forgive, that grace you had. And you forgive those people who nailed you on the cross, that grace you gave them, to forgive those who sold him. The grace you've given those people are forgiven. That's what you give to everybody here. In your name, Jesus. I ask for the spirit of forgiving. I ask for the spirit of forgiving to fall upon everybody here. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Lord. And Father, we forgive all those who have hurt us, those who we remember, and those who we can't remember. Father, those you know we have never forgiven, we ask that we forgive them in Jesus' name and remind us, Lord, that all those we have not forgiven, so that we might forgive them and so that we end up being forgiven in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that as we decided to forgive, forgive us all our sins, those we committed since we are young, since we got saved, and all the time, Lord, forgive those we have not repented. As we've decided to forgive, we have decided to forgive. Father, also forgive us. And today, change our lives. The grace which was not there, let it come. The favor, let it come. Those which had been failed, let them be released. Whatever was held, in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, release them in the name of Jesus. Because we are forgiving from the bottom of our hearts, Father, that we don't count our sins. As far as the east is far from west, you don't remember them. Father, as you've forgiven us, we forgive us also and don't remember our sins. And that spirit of forgiving, let him always be on our hearts until when you come back to comfort us. You find us without a spot or a wrinkle in the name of Jesus. Amen.